today's session we are going to have a very interesting topic which is measurement so ready for that yes ma'am yes ma'am okay. so for that what i am going to do i will be sharing my screen and will share one ppt with you and after that ppt we will having a one quiz which you all are supposed to do okay yes ma'am so these are these were the questions what i asked you okay like how old are you how much do you weigh how tall are you how much water can be filled in a water bottle like that okay so in response uh, some answers you all gave to me correct yes ma'am like if i ask that how old are you so for that what you need you need to measure time yes, correct then you will be able to uh, give your answer yes okay now if i am asking that how much you weigh so for that you must weigh yourself yes. like 25 kg 30 kg 35 kg and all okay and to know how tall are you for that you need to measure your height, height. okay <laughs> the length you are measuring if i am asking that how uh, to know how much water you can fill in your water bottle so for that you need to find out the capacity correct <laughs> and if i am asking that how hot is it today so for that you have to find the temperature yes. correct so these are all these things so all these things we can conclude as a type of measurement got it yes ma'am okay so now what actually is measurement so measurement is the process of finding a number that shows the amount of something okay which is representing a certain amount like certain length certain weight certain height certain capacity so that particular number or that particular amount is known as a measurement okay and how we are measuring what it so measurement is a system to measure the height to measure the weight to measure the capacity or even amount of the certain objects okay so this is what we known as measurement understood yes ma'am yes ma'am now so this is look yeah. like measurement now how we can measure something for measuring things what we need we need some measuring units yes, correct now what are those measuring units so um, units are the tools to measure and compare different things if we need to compare different things if we need to measure different things what we are using we are using measuring units okay yes, and when we need to compare Uh, like uh, we need to comparison becomes easy when we are using units now so comparison becomes automatically easy like which one is heavier which one is lighter okay we can easily compare two things yes ma'am okay and why we are using measuring unit now different units can be classified dep depending on their use if we need to use a shorter thing there is a different unit for that if yes, we need to uh, find out about longer thing or far thing so for that we are using a different unit yes ma'am correct yes understood now what yes, is measurement and what are the units of measurement yes ma'am got it any yes, doubt till here no ma'am ma'am ma now so for measurement what we can measure so we can measure length we can measure weight we can measure volume we can measure time we can measure money as well correct Yes. and we can measure temperature as well yes yes yeah. now among all these things today we are going to learn about length okay now what is length first question is what is length okay if i am asking how long your laptop is okay if i am asking how long your laptop screen is yes so to find it i will measure it Yes, you will measure, and you will measure it by what? Centimeter. Centimeter. Uh, okay, Centimeter. that is a unit. That is a unit that that we can rely on. Correct. Now, if I am asking that you need to measure the length of your uh, monitor screen, the length of your laptop screen. So, by which instrument you are going to measure it? We are going to. Ma'am, we are going to measure it by which instrument? Yes. We can measuring tool measure, you will use. Measuring tool. Absolutely correct. Measuring tape. Okay. Now, okay. Other than that, if I'm asking that, can you measure it by your hand and pen? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Okay. If I'm measuring it uh, with my hand pen, so mm -hmm. can we say that measuring uh, through hand pen that will 
always remain same no ma'am no, ma when why? they why no ma'am because the different people the same sizes of hands ma'am because each person's hand has a different size ma'am the laptop size is same the things Correct. which we measure the size are same but our hand hand size is always different Correct. what you hand size is is not compulsorily that uh, it has to be same with my hand size yes ma'am correct yes, my ma hand size can be different your hand span can be different yes ma'am correct so yes, we cannot rely on those things only okay yes. for a time being we can use them but we cannot rely on them correct yes, so that's why all the those thing like hand span okay foot span Yes. Like you wait, these are known as non-standardized units. Standard. Okay, and yes. other apart from that, we have some standardized unit. Okay, that on which we can rely. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now if we are talking about land, so the amount of something that is made up from one end to other along the longest side is known as the land. Yes. Okay. Now for length also we have a multiple units. We have kilometer, hectometer, decameter, meter, decimeter, centimeter, millimeter. Centimeter, millimeter. Correct. Now, uh, do you think that uh, these all learning all these things sometimes become confusing to us? We can forget like how much kilometer is there in decameter, how much hectometer is there in meter. We can we might be confused. Correct. Now. To make all these things easier, what we can do, we have one trick. Okay, and that trick is what we need to learn. This small statement. Now, what is that statement? King Harry died. Mother didn't cry much. What? King Harry died. Harry died mother mother didn't, didn't cry much. Cry much. Correct. Much. Now we will take King. The K from King. The H from Harry. The D from died, the M from mother, the D from dead, the C from cry, and the M right. from mother. correct. So what yes, is that uh, 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 the line that what we can learn? King Harry died. Harry died. Mother, Harry didn't, mother, didn't, didn't, cry mother much. didn't cry much. Correct. So what okay. we are deriving from here? We are deriving kilometer, hectometer, decameter, meter, decimeter, meter, decimeter, centimeter, centimeter, millimeter. millimeter. Correct. Yes, now. What? How we can so now the question is how we can you solve the questions on the basis of this statement. So this statement is King Harry died, mother then cry much. Okay. Yes. Now since this is Let's m over here, so this yes, is for length. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now the interesting thing about this is that like between every two unit there is a gap of ten. Ten. Okay. Ten. There is a gap of what? Ten. 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 Okay. So between every alternative two units, there is a gap of ten. ten. Got it? Now the one more thing that we need to keep in our mind is when we are moving from left to right. Okay. From biggest unit to smallest unit, what we are supposed to do? We need to multiply. Multiply. Yes. Correct. And whenever we are moving from right to left, which means from a smaller unit to bigger unit, we need to divide. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So what we need to learn? We need to learn King Harry King died, died, mother didn't cry much. Okay, I have one more interesting uh, line about this. Do you know Hindi? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. So in Hindi, we have one interesting thing. So we can learn it through. कल हमें दिल्ली में दो चोर मिले हाउ कैन वी लर्न इट कल हमें दिल्ली दो चोर मिले करेक्ट सो वी विल लर्न इट लाइक कल हमें दिल्ली में दो चोर मिले मिले करेक्ट इन दिस केस फॉर कल एच इज फॉर हम डी एफ इज फॉर दिल्ली व्हाई आई एम राइटिंग इट डी ए Because here also it is D and here also it is D. That's why I made this D. Okay. okay. So, कल हमें दिल्ली में दो चोर मिले. Got it? So we can learn this trick in any of the way. Okay. We can go with this way and we can go with this. कल हमें दिल्ली में दो चोर मिले. In that way. Understood? 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now we have two tricks. Okay. And these two tricks will be similar for, for length, for weight, and for capacity. Okay. But mm -hmm. what we need to keep in mind that between every two alternative units, there is a difference of 10. Okay. And when we are moving from left to right or from bigger unit to smaller unit, we have to multiply. Okay. okay. And whenever we are moving from a smaller unit to bigger unit, what we need to do? Divide. divide. The unit to divide. divide. Got it? Converting yeah. from larger to smaller, we need to multiply. And converting from a smaller to larger, we need to divide. 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 Got it till here? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So let's see some tricks on how we can solve questions through this trick. Okay. So this is like in one meter. Okay. We will go with the trick only. Okay. Yes. Yes. So now in one centimeter, how many centimeters are there? So how we are going to count it? That we all know. That we all know. But how can, can we solve it by using this table? So, as we all know that there is a difference of 10. Like, we have to do like 10 times 10. So, like, we will get the answer. Okay. Like, how many gaps? So, like, 10 and correct, 10. Correct, correct, correct. We need to go like that only. Okay, so where is meter? Meter is here. Where is mm -hmm. centimeter? Centimeter is here. Mm -hmm. Now, in between meter and centimeter, how many zeros are there? We will count the number of zeros only. Mm -hmm. How many zeros are there? Two. Two zeros. Two. Correct? So, if I am asking, in 8 meter, how many centimeters will be there? 800. One. Okay. So, what I will do? I will write, write this 8 as it is. I will write this 8 as it is. And how many zeros I need to put? Two. two. Zero. So, I will put two zeros. So, it becomes 800 centimeters. Got it? Yes. 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 Interesting? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Now let's try to solve this one as well with this table. Yeah, okay. Okay. Now, as we all know that there is a difference of 10. So I am marking 10 over here. And the question is asking that if I need to convert 900 centimeter into meter. So for that, what I need to know. Okay, where is centimeter? This is centimeter. Sorry, where is uh, okay, where is centimeter? Here it is. And where is meter? Here it is. Um, Correct. Now, yes. I need to convert from centimeter to meter. I am moving from right to left. So, I need to do what? I need to Correct. Now, just let me know how many zeros are there in between centimeter and meter. Two. Two, two zeros are there. Okay. Yes. Now, it is what? It is 900 centimeter. If I am converting... 900 centimeter into meter. So, how many zeros should be there? How many zeros should I remove? Two. Since I am dividing, so I need to remove the zeros. So, this becomes what? Nine. Two zeros. Nine. Yes, I remove two zeros and it becomes nine. nine. So, 900 centimeter is equal to what? Nine meter. Now, nine. similarly, if I am asked, if I, if I need to convert, this time I am converting nine centimeter into meter. Not 900 uh, centimeter. If I am converting 9 centimeter into meter. In 9 centimeters, how many meters will be there? So, how I am going to do it? Because with 9, there is no zeros. Yes. So, how I am going to solve it? We are going to... We are going to add to... Zeros. No, we can't add like that. We have to have the answer in minus form, like minus. No, no, no. no multiply. No. We have to... Okay, let's see. Let's see that what we do. And we have to divide. Yeah. Definitely we need to divide because we are so moving from like, a smaller to bigger unit. So like we have to add the number of zeros as 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 many number of like Areas, the point will move as many zeros are there. Like the point will stay there and then okay. before that there will be a zero. Okay, let's see, let's see. So, as we already know that from meter and centimeter, we have a gap of two zeros. Correct. 
So we are supposed to divide it by two zeros. Correct. Now, what is the number which is written over here? Nine. So I will write it nine like that only. Correct. Now I need two zeros to divide, but I don't have any number of zeros over there. Okay. So what I will do? I will take two digit. Like two zeros are there, na? So one digit is already there, and I need to make it like two zeros. So I will put one extra zero before nine, not after nine. I will put it. Before nine, okay. Then I will put one decimal over there, okay. So my answer will be what? My answer will be zero point zero nine meter. Got it? How okay. after how many digits I need to put decimal? The according to the number of zeros. If I have two number of zeros over here, so I need to put decimal after before two uh, digits, okay. Since okay. I have ninety centimeter. Now I need to convert ninety centimeter into meter. So how I'm going to convert it? Take, ma'am, take two zeros from the hundred. Yeah, put it in them, and then put it in the front. Zero from hundred. My point, like take correct. So I now this time, this time I need to put decimal after two digits because two zeros are there, and yes. I already have two digits, so I can put decimal before nine. Okay, so my answer becomes zero point nine zero. And one more interesting thing: whenever we are talking about decimal, no, so we can't read the number like ninety. We have to read it like nine zero. Zero point nine zero. Correct. We can't read it like zero point nineteen. I need to write uh, read it like one nine. Got it? Yes. Understood. Yes. Now there are some questions that you are supposed to do. And okay, one by one, I'm going to ask. Just tell me if I need to convert six hundred centimeter into meter. That will equals to what? Quickly tell me your answer. Six meters. Six, six meters. Six, six meters. meters. Very good. Now, if I need to convert eighty-five thousand meter into kilometers. Eighty-five kilometers. Eighty-five kilometers. Yes. Very good. Now, if I need to convert forty-five centimeters into meter. Centimeter, then zero point four five. Absolutely five. correct. Absolutely correct. Very good. Very good. Now, if I need to convert twenty milliliter into decimeter, twenty milliliter into decimeter, Le then zero point two zero. Very good. Very good. Very good. Now, if I need need to convert thirty one meter into kilometers. Zero zero point three one zero point three kilometers. Zero point zero zero point three one kilometers. No 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 no. I have to convert meter into kilometer. So how many zeros are there in between? Two. Ah. Huh? Three. Say two. Three. three. Correct. Correct. Three. So I need to put decimal after three digit. No. So two digits are already there. I will put one more digit and put one decimal. Okay. So my Zero point zero three one. Very nice. Okay. Now I need to convert nine decameter into centimeter. Okay. Decameter into centimeter. Mm. Multiply. Then. So it becomes what? Ah, uh, nine zero centimeter. Zero zero point zero nine. No 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 no. We are con this time we are converting from bigger to smaller, no? So we need to multiply. So answer becomes what? Nine thousand centimeter. Nine thousand centimeter. Nine thousand centimeter. Understood? Understood? Tell me. Yes. Yes. Okay. So after that, we have one more interesting topic about time. So about time that we already know. So time. And we can measure in hour, in minutes, okay. And uh, we are going to talk about calendar. So we are having days, we are having weeks, we are having months, and we are having year. Correct? Yes. yes Now sir. this, I think, since you are in a grade four, so you all know about it that in the whole clock we have twelve hours. Yes. Correct. And one hour should is equals to sixty minutes. Yes. Correct. That yes, all also we all know. Okay, and between every two numbers, there is a gap of five, five. minutes. Correct. 
and what is the meaning of quarter if somebody is asking about quarter so that means what that minutes. minutes that these are the very basic things about clock that we already yes, know okay now the question is if uh, now the question is if in the question it is asking about the elapsed time like uh, i have to do some work right now and i have to finish it like after 1 hour 30 minutes so what the time is going to be like that if question is asking for so how we are going to solve those type of questions okay so for that that uh, when we are jumping from one time to another time slot so that means we are elapsing the time okay so that is known as elapsed time concept understood okay so for finding that what we need to do to time taken by an event to occur between the starting of the time and the ending of the time is known as elapsed time elapsed time elapsed okay. time and elapsed. formula that we are going to use for this is going to be end time at end. what time we are going to end it minus Sorry. start time, time and what time we are starting it got it Yes. Now, for calculating this thing, we have two things over here. One is 12-hour format and another is 24-hour format. Do you know about it? That What is 12-hour format and what is 24-hour format? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma yes. Okay. Now, so for that also, we have two methods. One is elapsed time on the number line, like jumping method. This method is also known as jumping method. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now if I am asking that what is the amount of the time elapsed between 11.45 and 15.10. So, how I am going to find it? So, what I will do, what is the time here? This is 11.45. So, I will write 11.45 over here. Yes. Okay, now, so I will take the time which is nearest to 11.45 and which is round to the clock. Okay. So, I can see that after 11.45, 11, it should be at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Okay. And 12 o'clock is after how much time of 11.45? 15 minutes. Oh, yes. So, I will take 15 minutes. Yes. Okay. Now, from 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock, there is a gap of 1, one hour. Now, yeah. from 1 hour to 2 hour, there is a gap of what? 1 hour. 1 hour. Okay. Now from 14 to 15, why I am taking it in a 14-15 way? Because it is 15-10, right? Correct. One hour. Again, one hour. One hour. One hour. Now one hour. the timing, the ending timing is 15-10. 15. 15. So I need to take 15-10 over here. 10 minutes more. 10 minutes more. Very good. So it is 10 minutes. Now the question is asking about the amount of time. So what I will do? I will take one hour plus one hour plus one hour. Three hours. Three hours. Yeah. Three hours. Now, this is 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 10 minutes. Correct. 3 hours, 25 minutes. Very good. It makes 3 hours, 25 minutes. Very nice. Very good. Understood, everybody? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Anybody having any doubt? No, ma'am. Now, another method to do this question is, what we can do, like suppose we need to calculate the duration between 6.20 p.m. and 9 p.m. So, how we are going to calculate it? Now, we can see here in the minute, it, there is 20 and here it is double zero. So, how, how can I solve it? So, for solving it, what I can do? Now, since uh, we already know that 1 hour is equal Equals to 60 minutes. Yes, so, like... So, can I write this 9 hour as 8 hours and 16 mi 60 yes. minutes? Can I write it in that way? Yes. 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 Because now subtraction becomes easier for easier. us. Correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, we can subtract 0 minus 0, 0, 6 minus 2 is 4, four. and 8 minus 6 is 2. two. So, two what answer we are getting? 2 hours 40, two hours, 40 minutes. minutes. Very good. Devik understood? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Avantika ma yes, Das, understood? Yes, okay. ma'am. Now, the question is for you. Just tell me that how we are going to solve it and I am going to ask the answer from one of you. Okay? Once you are done, just raise your virtual hand, okay? Now, the question is, Manas wants to light crackers till 10, 26 p.m. Now the clock is showing the time present is 
p.m. Okay, the timing is nine forty-six p.m. and he has to burn the cracker till ten twenty-six. Okay, so for how many minutes more can Manas light the crackers? Okay, you have one minute time. Done. Yes, ma'am. Abantika, Devik. Okay, Devik. Devik will tell me. Devik will tell me. Yes, Devik. One hour. One hour. One hour. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Is it right? Thirty minutes or twenty? Twenty. 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 Okay. Twenty. Okay. Yes. Shreesha, just tell me. Is it correct? No, ma'am. It's not correct. It's not correct. Okay, so just tell me the correct solution for that. The correct okay, solution there. is from nine forty six to ten. We have fourteen minutes, and then after that. Wait, wait, wait. Let me write. Let me write. Fourteen minutes, and, and then like 10. he wants to burn crackers till ten twenty six. So like correct. we will add with fourteen minutes ten uh, like twenty six minutes more. So with twenty six if we add fourteen, it's forty minutes. Absolutely correct. Okay, so we have time of forty minutes. Okay, Manas had time for forty minutes more to burn the crackers. Understood, uh, Devik? Yes, ma'am. Yes, got it now. Yeah. Okay. So next question. This is a like very easy easy question. Jack usually wakes uh, wakes up at three o'clock in the morning. Now yesterday he got up fifty three minutes later. So what time did uh, Jack woke up? Two seven. Two seven. Two seven. Uh huh. Ah uh, no no no. Understood the question. Try to read the question. Yes, Sharon, tell me. Jack usually wakes up at three o'clock. Okay, he usually woke up at three o'clock. Okay, now but yesterday he got up fifty three minutes later. Okay, fifty three minutes later. So what time did? Jack woke up on that day. Yes, Arjun. Three, three, three fifty-three. Very good. That three is three fifty-three minutes. Got it? Yes. yes. Okay. Next question. We have play time at ten thirty a.m. But we usually have a quarter of an hour to play. Okay. In normal days, we are having only quarter of an hour. Now, just tell me what is quarter of an hour? Forty-five. क्लास इलेवन ओ क्लॉक वेरी नाइस वेरी गुड वेरी गुड ओके सो दैट मीन्स वॉट इलेवन ओ क्लॉक very good okay now one more last question the train from bristol to western left at 7:30 got it now yes. it should take 30 minutes to reach its destination okay it took 30 minutes to reach its destination now somehow it was 15 minutes late now what time did he uh, did it arrive in western no i am not going to ask it from shisha i am not going to ask from arjun i want to ask it from abantika das yes okay Yes, Abantika and Sharon. Sharon, you can also answer me. Eight fifteen. Eight fifteen. And yes. how is it eight fifteen? What you we have done to find eight fifteen? Um, with seven hours thirty minutes, I uh, plus thirty minutes. Mm, okay. It became so it eight eight hour. Okay. And it was fifteen minutes late. Okay. Uh, nah, and it became eight hour fifteen minutes. Yes, very good. Okay, so our answer should be what? Our answer should be eight fifteen. Yes. Got it, everybody? Anybody yes. is having any kind of confusion? No, no ma'am. No, ma'am. Sure. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Any doubt in this whole thing that we 
what we have learned any mm -hmm. doubt to anyone no ma'am no no, no. 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 no.